Turning 65 is not the only important birthday in Medicare. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the Medicare birthday rule, specifically for the states of California and Oregon. And even if you don't live in these states, this is really important information on changing your Medicare supplement plan. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jamie Banner, and I'm the founder of Medicare by Jamie. I'm a licensed insurance agent that works specifically with people enrolling into Medicare, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Medicare birthday rule. Now, before we get started, if you find the information in this video helpful, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, leave a comment down below. It lets YouTube know that this is pretty important information. So like I said, we're going to talk about Medicare plus birthdays. So 65 is the big Medicare birthday, and that's the one that people think counts the most. But in certain places, other birthdays are almost just as important. We're going to talk about the birthday rule. So first thing is, where does the birthday rule apply? It's going to apply in California, and it's going to apply to Oregon. Now, these are the two states that abide by the birthday rule now. That could change in the future, but specifically, you can utilize this rule in California and in Oregon. So we know where, and now we need to know when. So the birthday rule takes place, you guessed it, around your birthday. So when you have a birthday every year, we always have when you plan your party, and then you can also plan to check to see if your supplement plan is the best option for you. So around your birthday, for the birthday rule, you've got 30 days before your birthday, your birthday and 30 days after. And during this time frame, you can change your Medicare supplement plan without all the hassles of, that you would go through during the rest of the year. So like I said, it's 30 days before your birthday, your birthday and 30 days after. So now that we know the when, let's talk about the how, kind of how this birthday rule works. First thing, biggest thing, exciting part, there's no medical underwriting. So that means if you live in California or Oregon around your birthday, you can change your supplement plan with no medical underwriting, no health questions, no looking at your prescription drug list. You can have big major medical events and utilize this time frame to switch your supplement plan if maybe you've had like a premium increase or you're not happy with your company, you can use it and not have to worry about your health history. Other rule is you can switch to a plan of equal or lesser coverage. So what that means is you can switch from a plan G to a different plan G or a plan G to a plan N, but you can't go up in coverage. So you can't go from a plan N to a plan G using the birthday rule. You can do in other circumstances with medical underwriting, but for this specific birthday rule, it needs to be a plan of equal or lesser coverage. So again, a plan that's the same or a plan that's gonna have fewer benefits, but also probably less expensive premiums. And another thing is, it's gonna be effective after your birthday's passed. So if you jump right in and 30 days before your birthday, you use this rule and you wanna switch your plan, it cannot take effect until the month after your birthday. So you can't do it 30 days before and on your birthday, happy birthday, have a new plan. It's gonna happen after. So that's something to think about is it's not gonna be necessarily an immediate effect, but it's a good idea to start this kind of in advance. Don't, you know, get on the 30th day after your birthday and start looking then. It's good to get an idea and do an analysis every year and see if there's something less expensive out there for you. And that's what I do. I assist people in finding the best supplement plans or changing from their current supplement plan to something that may be more cost effective or beneficial. So you can give me a call. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. You can also email me, jamie at medicarebyjamie.com. Like I said, this is kind of what I do. It's how I make my living. So the big number one question, why would I use this birthday rule? Save money. That's the big thing. There's no real reason to stay in a plan G that's got a hiking, hiking premium when you can switch into the exact same plan with a different company and save premium money. So again, this birthday rule is really beneficial for you to take an analysis every year and look and see, is there something better I can be doing? Is there a way I can be saving money? Because if not, you would be paying more for a plan G for seemingly no reason because the plans are standardized so any way we can save money is good on in my book it's a great thing to do analysis every year save some money in premium 
So I hope you found the information in this video helpful, talking about, you know, birthday rule, where you can use it and how to use it. If you have any questions, you want to take an analysis, give me a call. My number is 833-65-JAMIE. You can also email me, jamie at medicarebyjamie.com, or you can visit my website, medicarebyjamie.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Put a movie quote in there, like I always do, so you can tell me the movie. Put it in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you stay tuned, I'm going to give you a tour of my website. And on my website, I've got a ton of free resources, guides, forms, anything you might need for your Medicare journey that's going to help kind of ease it for you and make it a little bit smoother. So again, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.